this thing? Is the melanin on? Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. Hopefully, you are doing fantastic. I am doing wonderful. Make sure to go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on social media at Miss TP90 and turn those notifications on. This way, you know whenever a new video is coming out. Make sure you get into Another Word with Miss P. That's my podcast that comes out every single Thursday. And shop out to essence you know for featuring your girl i was really really excited about that the link is going to be down below you've seen the title correctly this video is a little bit different i'm going back into my tech roots okay a lot of you remember me doing miss peace tech talk and if you don't know now you know i'm about to tell you your girl loves technology I'll say it like this. I'm not as bad as I used to be. You'll probably see by later in this video, I'm in a different location. I'm in my own house now. So I'm getting ready to upgrade a lot of things like my monitor. I had a TV mishap, so I do have to upgrade my TV again. We're getting ready to do our own home office. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of upgrading and I'm really excited about it. And the best part is my husband, he's all for it. And he's like, oh my God, what do you need for your studio and what we need to do so that you can just be efficient and productive and on my end i feel the same way with him because he's an accountant and i'm like hey we gotta upgrade all of your systems honey so you can be productive and efficient so we are both on the same wave with helping each other be as efficient as possible but still bringing it up to date with everything you know what i'm saying because we're both geeks at the end of the day you never know miss peace tech talk might come back i don't know it in the full capacity on the other channel but here and there sprinkled in so down below in the comment section i would love to know what would you love to see a review on? I don't know if y'all want to see like headphones, household appliances, big body appliances, tablets, computers. Y'all know I've been calling myself the review queen for the longest time because honey, I can review anything. And I really love to give you guys like my for real, for real take. The computer that I used for grad school and the aha was it was not my MacBook. I know, shockingly enough, I had to go straight Windows based. Sometimes you do need Windows for other things i'm just gonna say that that's very very true and during grad school i had to have another computer every laptop is not the same i already use my macbook for any and everything and i said you know what i'm not buying one of them seven eight hundred thousand dollar computers okay just for a semester of grad school so i bought one of the low-end models and i said you know what i'm really gonna put it to the test you can look for all the specs yourself i'm gonna post it down below if you do want to check it out if you have any questions regarding grad school i did use this computer for my last semester of my MBA program. And I think we can go into another avenue, whether it's technology, grad school, we can talk about a lot of things. So just post your suggestions, your comments down below. Enough of my blabbing. Y'all know I can keep going and going and going. But this video, I believe I recorded this back in. I recorded this video back in April because I was wrapping up and I wanted everything to be fresh on my brain. And since then, you know, May I graduated, June I got married and I've been pregnant. Hopefully it'll help somebody. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if nothing else, hopefully it's entertaining for you, okay? But yeah, let's go on and get into this video. All right, all right, all right. Are we in this thing? Is the melanin on? Yes, it is. For those of you who have been watching me for a long time, I used to have a tech channel entitled Miss P's Tech Talk. Baby girl used to really do these tech videos. I still love technology. I've purchased a lot of things and I just haven't done videos on them, but I've had plenty of you all over the years ask me, Miss P, what do you think about this? Or what have you used for this? And as far as what I use to record, I get that question often. And I'm using my iPhone 11. I have the Pro Max. It's the 256 gig and I'm so glad that I got that one because I use my phone for recording faithfully. I still have my cameras, but now I just use my phone because it's 4K quality. It does exactly what I need it to do. It's seamless when I airdrop to my computer. I love easy, breezy, seamless. That's what I like, especially with technology. I don't like too many steps, too much going on. Things happen, things break things slow down and also things pop up where you need more technology and that has happened to me in the last year. I know you're probably looking at the title like Miss P why you get a PC? What's going on? Let me tell y'all why I had to get an HP Stream 11 laptop. I have an analytics class that I'm in and we have to utilize Excel and with Excel there's extra add-ins that you have to have and uh, I knew this because I was looking at the syllabus and all types of stuff and he was saying, and for those of you who have a Mac, I was like, hey, this is gonna be some bullshit. I can sense it. And yes, I ran into a problem when I was doing my homework and I needed the add-on and you could not add it on through Apple. 
And at the same time, even if you're using Microsoft Office um, 365 and you're using it in the cloud, there's certain features that you still can't use if you have a Mac. So I'm like, this is stupid. That's one thing that I have to say about technology. Across the board, so many more things need to be accessible through Mac. Like that's, we're too far gone in technology for things to still be, uh, this isn't supported by Mac. Oh my God, too much. So anyway, I had to carry my happy ass the best buy and find me a cheap as hell computer so that I could do my homework. It doesn't make sense that I had to spend extra money, okay? So that I can do my homework. I'm gonna tell y'all what I thought about the HP Stream 11 laptop. Study stream share on a single charge. Now that's true, you can study on this thing. Streaming, okay. Sharing, yes, you can do that. And the charge, yes, it lasted, honey. I haven't had to charge this computer in a while. Just saying. The processor, it has an Intel Celeron N4000 processor. <laughs> that means it is just high. It's not nothing crazy. It's not gonna be zoom, zoom. If you're a gamer, you wanna have 8,000 tabs open, this is not for you. I am in tab anonymous, okay? I'm trying to work on my tab use. So yeah, um, this processor, it can only do but so much now. Four gigabyte system memory. That means, honey, we can only do with so much at one time. Relax, okay? 64 gigabyte eMMC storage, which is okay. For those of you who don't know, whenever you're getting um, storage on your computer, your phone, what have you, that's not the storage you're gonna get when you take it out of the box. You really have memory mount, mm, fit this um, that you can work with. 11.6 inch HD display, not too shabby, it's not huge. Don't think you got a big old monitor, honey. That's not what you have on this thing. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, for sure. VGA webcam, it's all right. There's nothing too crazy. Relax. And Windows 10 S and Microsoft 365. So whenever you get these computers, you do get Microsoft 365. I believe you get it for free for about six months and some change. If you're a student like myself, I already had it. Extremely portable, expressive design. Live your best life on the go with a thin, expressive design. I totally agree. You saw me just hold this up like this here. Very easy to use. You can walk around with this here if you a student, whatever. When I was in college, this would have been fantastic to have. Even for kids right now who are in school, this is a perfect throwaway computer. Not saying you throwing it away, but you can just put it down, pick it up. It's nothing too crazy going on and you can use it for yin 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 around the house. The Intel processors and long battery life, work or binge watch all day while staying under budget. That's pretty true. I could imagine myself in the airport with this computer. Say I had a layover or whatever, and I'm just watching something because it's extremely portable. Say you're just doing a little yin, yin, yin. It's portable, I like it. You can throw it in your bag, do whatever. Like I said, it's a nice little yin, yin, yin around the house computer. And basically that's that on that with this computer, what it says on the box. Let's go ahead and get in with the cons, all right? I told you about the Intel Celeron N4000 processor. Woo! Q juvenile slow motion for me. If you straight out the gate, you don't have no computer, this is gonna mean the world to you, Tony Brax. That four gigabytes of RAM that I told you about, that means you just gonna do light work. Same with the graphics card on this thing. Light work, you are not gonna be out the gate playing 2K on this thing, you ain't gonna be, or whatever the children play nowadays. You are not gonna be doing all this on this computer. This computer is good for doing just a little bit at a time. I did download Excel on the computer, all the add-ons that I needed to. And it seemed like it was seamless at first. Now, you know me, I do a lot at one time. So the computer was like, <coughs> girl, give us a second. Where's our inhaler? This is a lot going on. So I got the ring of death a couple of times that this is not responding. And then it shut down and it crashed. And I was like, no. So that was really my fault. I was doing too much at once. I was under a deadline and I just need to get shit done. So I did get a little frustrated with baby girl, but after a while, I set her down, I opened her back up and I talked to her nicely and she did what I needed her to do. I just took my time with her and that's what you gotta do with her. It's not a bad computer, it's just very slow for what I needed to do. Even though I'm in school and I just needed it for the Excel, I still need it to be a lot faster. What if I am doing a lot of stuff at one time and the apps that I have on here are all running at once because that's what I needed to do. I can't have this thing crash on me like that. So the processor could not keep up with what I needed to do. Can you keep up, Destiny's Child? It couldn't. The pros of this thing, it's cheap. I think I walked out of Best Buy paying $219 for this thing. Years ago, when I first got a computer, $219 for a computer, where? The battery life is pretty good on this thing. It hasn't conked out on me yet. Shockingly enough, you see the speakers on the back? The sound quality is really good. And you have your usual stuff, your headphone jack, two USB ports and HDMI, USB-C. Mm. This is for your power. I got the power. You open her up. 
Let me show you how long it takes for her to... Not too bad. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. Not too shabby. The trackpad. She's a little sticky for me. And granted, I'm used to my Mac, so I've had to work on things. And granted, this isn't a biased review just because I use Apple products. I'm trying to be very open, okay? Even the keys. It's a little sticky, all right? Say I am opening up Excel. Once you're in the program, it's moving, but to start it up, honey. Woo. Now I'm trying to go to the internet. Okay, nope. Oh. Let's just go randomly to Amazon. Woo, child. Got the best of the best internet in this house. It's a lot. Say we're gonna go on Hulu. Like I said, I only have one tab open, just one. Honey, it takes a minute. So if you have the time, sure, why not? But baby girl does not have the time. So the question is, the whinings. Will I continue with the HP Stream 11 laptop? Mm -mm. No, I don't think I'm going to. I don't, mm -mm. I don't think I will. Mm -mm. I did get my homework done, got a good grade. I need something that's gonna keep up with the kid. Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what type of PC do you use? What do you recommend? And also let me know what other tech reviews, spotlights you would like me to do. Miss P's Tech Talk is back, honey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye guys.